I've got something else. <laughs> this time I didn't buy it. This time RJ bought it. The Gaia. Something for you. <laughs> Lies here. <laughs> and I can't wait to open it. I hear some rattling. Oh, oh, oh my. <gasps> Look. <laughs> she sees it and she completely dropped the guava. Yes, this is for you. My boy squad, check it out. A shoulder cape. Okay, maybe not entirely for her, but for me, for sure. OMG. A shoulder cape okay so this is basically like that arm protector thing but this time it goes on your shoulder OMG let's put this on Wow I love it and look it's got bells okay okay wait I'm hot I'm gonna remove this hey guys I got something really cool mm-hmm yes oh this is awesome <laughs> oh my gosh this is Interesting. Oh boy, squad. Walk like an Egyptian. <laughs> oh my god, look at it! Isn't it awesome? Okay, well, when we go on our walks, I guess I could use this. Protects me from poo. Protects my shoulders, all of that. It's got bells she can play with. <gasps> OMG. A it's got pockets. Small pockets I can put seeds in. Oh, what a neat product. Although I might look kind of silly walking with this around. <laughs> like, why is that random bald Filipino walking around with like that weird shoulder? It looks like shimmy, shimmy, shimmy. Okay, the guy come. Want it? Let's test this out. Okay, the guy step up. Look, see bells and beads. You know bells. Mm-hmm. Here, step up. Step up. Yes. Oh, do you like it? Is it easy to grip? I hope so. And look at these beads. See? Yes. Oh, I think she approves. Do you like it? Yes. And it's got bells. You like bells. Oh my gosh, this is such a cool thing. I think I'm gonna go take a walk with this with you, Ligaya. See, and if you get bored just standing there, you could play with these bells. Now, these bells also detach, you see? And I can attach any toy really to here. Okay, yeah, she really is interested in this now. I could tell. Wow, awesome! This also means um, I don't always have to wear a sweater because you could just grip on this. Do you like it, the guys? Hmm? I think she does, guys. Go, oh, feel free to play. Yeah. She's not in the playing mood. She's sleepy. I know it's your bedtime now. Put you to bed? Hmm? Yeah. Go to bed. Mm. Wow, what a great product. RJ, thank you. Walk like an Egyptian. <laughs> All right, bird is asleep, baby is asleep, or getting there. And now, drinking coffee tonight, you know why? Because I gotta stay up all night to edit an Ants Canada video. Mm -hmm. The Ants Canada video, once again, is due. I swear, I'm no longer in school, but I still feel like I'm in school with these due dates. <laughs> oh, not complaining. At least I'm earning. Mmm, cheesecake. So good. She's getting coffee. It's gonna get me through the night. Seriously. See, AC family, see what I do for you every week. I have one sleepless night a week. I do it for Aunt Love. Good morning, Mobu High Squad. This bird is up and in a great mood. I am totally sleep deprived. I did go to sleep last night. I couldn't stay up the whole night. Sometimes I do stay up the whole night, but it's like, I must've went to sleep at like 3 a.m. Mm -hmm. Woke up in a rush at seven. So my brain is working slow and I'm like rushing to edit this Ants Canada video right now. It's due today. When I say due, it's like, I should say self-inflicted due. <laughs> because I promise every Saturday, 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time that it's up. However, my Aunt Kenda video is in 4K and it takes several hours before YouTube can fully process a 4K video 
Not only that, it takes hours to upload because hello Philippine slow internet. Well, the internet in this building anyway. Yes, I'm making a formula and I'm giving you medicine. So it's, it needs to be done well ahead of time. And I'm also trying this thing called Premieres, but Premieres, it's very cool. But in order for it to work, it needs to be up well ahead of time. Yes. Honestly, I'll be good when I have my coffee. The life of us. I am not complaining. Not complaining, why? Because I am grateful, seriously. And that's not even being sarcastic. Yes, I can't wait for you to eat. Mm -hmm. I'm making a huge mess. OMG, I'm really bad at mixing formula this morning. <gasps> the guy, uh, I'm not at 100% right now. I'm sorry. Look at this. I love this. I love this thing. It's very different. Very different to say the least. Yes, almost done. Getting your medicine. I think one, two more days of this. I think she's better now though. Only thing is she's not eating as much formula as she used to before I realized she got sick, but maybe that's just her weaning off formula. Cause she eats a lot of veggies and fruits. Like yesterday, wow. Foraging to the max, veggies, broccoli to the max. Yesterday, seriously, you ate broccoli like there was no broccoli tomorrow. Okay, time for formula. So on this morning skewer, we have okra, we got carrot, we got broccoli, and at the bottom we got bell peppers with the seeds inside because they can eat the seeds. This will be a great treat. That amazing cookbook for parrots, diet and nutrition book, amazing. Just gonna leave this here. She's gonna have to work to balance and pick at all of these goodies, which is good enrichment for her. Yes. You know, if you come here, you can eat the food better. Want me to help you? Hmm? No. Oh, she wants me to keep going. Okay, here, eat first. That's the priority. Yes. All right, I'll leave that there. She'll work on that. Offering food on a skewer, I attribute it to this book. It's a great idea, according to this book. Like, it's all about presentation. Like, imagine just having food just in a bowl all the time. <sighs> or a plate. Okay, humans do do that. But, like, imagine if it was, like, the same presentation all the, for every single food item. No, it should be, you know, kind of varied a little bit. I mean, if, if you're expecting the parrots to be eating all their veggies and stuff, it should be interesting. Because, I mean, look, she's fully eating her broccoli right now. I love that she's picking at the broccoli. That's great. All right, back to editing. All is well in the world. I have my coffee. Wake up, brain. Come on. Kick it up a notch. Stop slacking. Guys, being a YouTuber, don't think it's easy. It's not. Yes, I work from home. Totally grateful for that. And when you get enough views, the money isn't bad. But you gotta slave away and you gotta pay attention to mental health. Like seriously, there's a lot of YouTubers breaking down mentally and psychologically. I've been doing this now for eight years. I can understand why young people are having these breakdowns and are getting depressed as YouTubers especially when they get in the like millions of views because there's a pressure there's millions of people waiting there are like i don't even know like hundreds and thousands even millions of ant canada subscribers waiting for this video to be uploaded and i am rushing to do it and i'm stalling by vlogging okay see you in a bit render 4k project best okay Final render. OMG. I'm done. <gasps> yes! And it's done on time and it's still relatively early. Awesome. I mean, I have two other hidden videos to do, but that's simple. The main video's done. OMG. Ah, what a relief. <gasps> so, right now it's rendering. It's gonna take mm, maybe about 30 minutes. 
to 40 minutes. See, 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 see. This week's Ants Canada mini movie is done. Yes, OMG. Freedom for like the next two or three days. <laughs> Not really though, because I still have lots of other work for my other company stuff. Yes, guys, we can play now. Oh, look at your beak. I see you've been eating the red peppers. I see some red crumbs on your beak. <laughs> Okay, she's telling me I need to scratch. Okay, show me where. Scratch, 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 scratch. Here, here. Scratch, scratch, scratch. scratch. You like this, huh? Scratch, 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 scratch. What? Okay. Show me where. What? Okay, where? Here. What? Okay. She's mad because I'm not using both hands. Let me put you guys down. Yeah. She's so demanding. Okay, okay, okay. In the neck. I see. I see now. She totally sees that I'm vlogging and I'm not giving her full attention. She's complaining. Yes, okay, don't worry. I'm just bonding with you, nobody else. Just bonding with you. This is you and me time. Mm -hmm. And my boy squad, your godparents are just watching. They want to see you. They want to see you be scratched. These scratches are actually from them. These scratches are from their fingers. This is from thousands of your godparents scratching you right now and bonding with you. Mm -hmm. Good girl. Okay? Okay? Oh. You, you, you. Mm -hmm. I love you. Oh my god. I love you. I thought she was trying to say it. Is it good? Feels good? Scratch, scratch, scratch. Scratch, scratch, scratch. Such a good bird, Ligaya. You are a great, great bird. We love scratching you. Do you like your skewer? Hmm? So demanding. <laughs> Guys, I'm laughing because I'm kind of shy to go out with this. I mean, not that I care what people think, but <laughs> what kind of fashion statement is this? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Little bells, you know, parrots, parrot print. I got parrot on parrot. Do you approve of this fashion choice, Ligaya? Hmm? Hmm? <laughs> wow, wow, wow. Wow, wow, wow. You hear that? The wows are becoming better. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. You hear that? Oh wow, the wows are becoming really kind of clear. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> Good girl. I, I just hear her like, you hear that? It's deeper. And she's saying, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Oh my God, you hear that? Are you guys hearing this? Like, yeah, wow, wow, wow. Ooh. No. Wow, wow, wow. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> Good girl. Guys, uh, is this officially talking? It's hard to say. She's like gradually getting there with the pronunciation. But there are times when I, I swear I hear her say wow. Like now. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> okay, she wants me to scratch her. Okay, okay, okay. Look at what Legaya does now. No matter what I'm eating, whether it be cheesecake, lunch, dinner, whatever. By the way, this is my breakfast. Legaya always comes and checks <clears throat> to see what I'm eating. And she comes to beg. No, you're not allowed to have cheesecake. Mmm. Yeah, you can play with those bells. But it's not for sharing. You're not allowed to have this. Mm -mm. See how she is? She will beg. No, no. <laughs> I have to like always eat away from her. No, this is for people. Mm -mm. I'm afraid one day she's just gonna attack me. <laughs> Give me that cake! Mm. Mm. Boy Squad, this cheesecake is so good. You're still my fork? No! It's just a fork. 
plastic fork. Or here, you could use this. I don't know what this is. It's with all my utensils. Mm -hmm. You can play with it. Mm -hmm. Distractions. Shower, shower, shower. Shower, shower, shower. Shower, shower, shower. Don't be shy. Show me. Shower, shower. Oops. Shower. She pooed. Let me wash the poo. Wash that poo down. Wash it. Wash it down. Don't be drink. Don't be drink. Don't be drink. Don't be drink. Yeah. Oops. I got ya. I got ya. Yeah, you miss showers, huh? Oh, what a refreshing shower, huh? Flap those wings, flap those wings, flap those, flap those, flap those wings. Yes, go, dry off. Flap those wings, flap those wings, flap those, flap those, flap those wings. Go ahead, dry off. All right. Mm hmm. Paper towel dry. Mm hmm. She loves being paper toweled off afterwards. Go ahead. Here, paper towel you off. She loves this part. Yes. Dry you off. Dry, dry, dry. Mm-hmm. Yes. Nice and dry. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Oops. Guys, dinner time. Mm. For dinner, it's um, Mediterranean food. Oh, ho, ho, ho. I got lamb, beef, and then like the beef, I don't know what it's called, it's like beef something, but it's like ground beef, <gasps> the best, yummy, and like all these like white and yellow dips, <gasps> I fed Ligaya on purpose, just now, so that I can enjoy this, mm, mm, mm. yes, love Mediterranean food, OMG, did you guys see the Dubai vlogs, I know that's not Mediterranean, but they eat generally kind of the same kind of food over there in Dubai and in Qatar. Oh, it's so yummy. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. This orange sauce. Spicy! Mm. Thank goodness for takeout. And here in the Philippines, almost every store delivers. Mm. Restaurant, rather. Spicy! My boy, squad water sip. Oh, spicy. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Guys, I love lamb. Do you guys eat lamb? <gasps> if ever I have lambs, I feel really bad because some of them are gonna have to go. You know what I'm saying? Lamb right now. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm, 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 delicious, seriously, I find it funny when people ask if I'm a vegan or a vegetarian because I love animals, <laughs> I love animals in my stomach too, you know what I'm saying, mmm, mmm, oh my, and Mediterranean food has a lot of vegetables, but that's not a lot, usually, I mean, usually it has a lot of vegetables, this is not a lot, this restaurant has the ratios off. Seriously, look. All meat, vegetable. Tiny, tiny. The guy is watching me in the mirror. I better finish fast. Mm. Even though she ate her formula, she's getting in her nighttime snack before bed. Look at her. Eating that bell pepper. Now, you know what, guys? I find she doesn't really eat as much when the veggies are in a bowl. So I think I'm just going to continue skewing her vegetables on there because it seems to be working. Or I'll try other tactics, um, which I've read in that new parrot diet book that um, I finally was able to read. Gaia, good morning. Yes, it's a new day, a new day to spread goodness and joy to the world. Right, the guys? Mm-hmm. All right. And I'm sure you're hungry. Someone is super cuddly this morning. Mm -hmm. Yeah, oh, you're hungry. 
Mm -hmm. I'll cuddle with you first. Oh, such a good birdie. Mm -hmm. Okay, time for breakfast. So guys, can I just say that I love this book? I love it. This new parrot book I bought on diets and like recipes and cookbook, it's awesome. I get to see what vitamins she'll be getting from what food items. Ooh. Okay, so like the first thing we're adding is squash. Yes. Good source of vitamin A, manganese, potassium, and beta carotene. Mm-hmm. Love it. Right here. I'm gonna skewer your stuff again. Ugh. Yes. Wait, patience, patience. Chop, chop, chop. You know, it sounds like this. I wish I had an iguana or something to eat all these leftover scraps of vegetables that I'm just, like it, I've been feeding it to my roach farm for my ants. But seriously, so much goes to waste. Or like an earthworm farm or something. Okay, next, what are we adding here? Next, we shall add cucumber. Mm-hmm. Yes, cukes. Let's look up cucumber. Is cucumber on here? Here we go. Oh no. Cucumber, vitamin A, B, C, D, K. Wow, it's the whole alphabet. Folate, manganese, calcium, magnesium, and potassium. All right, you see that? You been gonna get some of that? Mm-hmm. Let's also add okra, one of her favorites. But I find she prefers okra when it's like chopped in like little circles. But let's see. Oaks, okra, vitamin A, C, B6, potassium, magnesium, calcium, iron, high fiber, and pectin. Yes. Pretty awesome. Oops, I have to wash this. Yes. All right. So we got some, got some okra up in here. Yeah. I love okra. Do you guys like okra? Have you tried okra? Such a delicious vegetable. It gets slimy and soft when you steam it. Mm. For those of you who are new to these fruits, well, if you're new to okra, buy this. Steam it, adds a little, add a little bit of soy sauce. Oh man, quite delicious. And clearly nutritious. <laughs> that rhymed. Quite delicious and clearly nutritious. That should be like saying for, for vegetables. Okay, um, next I'm also adding spicy pepper. Yes, okay, let's look up pepper. I wonder if it has chili. Yes, chili pepper. Vitamin C, A, and B6. Some C, A, and B6. You can have that, not me. All right, and then next, I'm going to add this little thing here. This is called calamansi here in Philippines. It's a small, it's like a small lime slash lemon, and she loves them. Okay, you're not supposed to be eating yet. This is supposed to be an activity you're supposed to do for playtime and enrichment. Stay there for a sec. In such a hurry. It's good, I'm glad she's eager to eat. Her appetite is back. This is so much fun. Just putting this skewer together is fun. Like, chances are she's not gonna eat it all, but it's still fun for me. Okay, almost done the skewer. And finally, at the end, I am going to place this slice of apple see that no seeds allowed because they're toxic interesting so guys for those of you who are new to the philippines apples do not grow in the philippines so they're quite expensive um and they're like a luxury fruit here in the philippines and if you guys aren't aware of rj's apple drive go check it out it's um to uh, promote health among kids and as a he does mass feedings of these apples to to kids around the Philippines and then other people have adapted it around the world and RJ is multi award winning for his charity work for his philanthropy work 
RJ is very, very generous, right? Apple. Let's see. Let's see the advantages of Apple. Wait. Oh my gosh. I'm getting this book already dirty and oh, here. Apple. Potassium. Beta carotene. Vitamin. Beta carotene and apple. Did not know this. Vitamins A, B, B2, B6, C, K, pectin, calcium, chlorine, iodine, iron, magnesium, phosphorus, and manganese. Wow. Removes toxins, cleansing, lower cholesterol, aids digestion. Amazing. Okay, she really can't wait to get to this cure. So, let's get down to business. You can have this. Let's give this to her now. Alright, putting it on the stick here securely. Mm-hmm. Look at that. That looks like Christmas. All right, Ligaya, go enjoy. Yes. Go, step up. All right. Awesome. Yes. All right. She goes straight for the hot pepper. <whistles> go ahead. She's like, I don't want that. I want formula. Well, anyway, she's going to eat this throughout the day. I don't want to go ahead and feed her formula just yet. I want to encourage her to eat because... Um, in the book it said that birds are hungriest in the morning and that's when they should have their most nutritious meal. And if you want to get your bird to eat vegetables and healthy foods, best to feed them right when they wake up and offer it to them. Mm -hmm. But this here will be a good snack for her through the day. She'll like pick at it and eat at it. Good enrichment for her. And look, a simple change in position changes her mind. <laughs> now she went to go eat. It's okay, you could go eat it. It's delicious. Mm-hmm. Go ahead. Look. Mmm. Okra and squash. You see that? Mmm. So I'm showing her right now how to eat apple. I'm just picking at it with my fingers and she's like eating the pieces that I pick off. Yeah. It's actually fun to eat apple. See, these birds live in massive flocks of like hundreds. So they basically learn a lot of the stuff through imitation through following the other flock members so she has no flock members sometimes i gotta show her what to do look look see it makes a crunch sound when you eat it yeah see she's doing it already so smart isn't it tasty apple is tasty right mm -hmm. <laughs> there she goes here look mm. all right Alright my Buhai squad, I'm gonna be a man and just go out in public wearing this, mm -hmm, this cape product. I could do this, I could do this. Alright the guys, let's do this. I mean, I have no shame. Right? Good morning. I'm just gonna speed walk down the busier street. <laughs> Seriously though, I'm too old to be self-conscious. I remember being in high school being so self-conscious. Ew, what a terrible existence. And on top of that, you gotta study. Seriously. All right, not so bad. I wore my gang colors. It was supposed to be a YouTube shirt. So that people will be like, oh, he's a YouTuber, okay. That's why he looks silly, but it covers it. <laughs> Nothing to see here, guys. Hi, hello. All right, and we have Mabuhai squad passing by. They're like, ah, oh, it's Mikey just being weird as usual. <laughs> you know, even ant keeping, you can't have shame. Yeah, it's true. Why? Because in ant keeping, Ant keepers are always on the floor looking for queen ants and you kind of like have to just be non-apologetic You can't be self-conscious. How do you like this new cape, huh Ligaya? Easier to grip, right? Yep, I do like this pocket. That's where I keep my tissues It's got extra toys to play with Mm-hmm. Yes, how are you doing there? It's okay? It's just the parrots like seriously Do they have more like I don't know. I'm not gonna say manly design. Why why would I want a manly design? You know what would have been cool? Like chainmail print. So it looks like really I'm I'm like a knight in shining armor. 
And as I walk around, I, I hear the clanging of these bells. Hi. We have people saying hi on bike. You okay, Ligaya? Just going for our walk, you know how it is. Soaking up all of that valuable sunlight. Mind you, it's quite hot. <laughs> Let's see what the weather's like here in in Philippines right now. Manila weather. It is currently 32 degrees Celsius. Yes. Ooh, it's quite hot. I should have wore it topless. Construction workers are stopping right now. Looking to see who this random Game of Thrones character is walking down the street with a mighty bird on his shoulder. It's a dragon, guys. A dragon. Oh, wow. Look at the size of that crow. Guys, do you see the crow? It's it's quite large. Oh, there's another crow. Let's see how Legaya reacts as we approach the crow. Don't worry, Legaya. Those crows won't hurt you. Oh, wow. There's like a whole murder of them right here. One, two, three, four. It's a family. How nice. That is the parent. There goes the other parent and that's a baby. See? Oh, they're teaching them to fly and feed. How nice. And there's another baby there. So in case you missed the previous vlogs or if you're just joining these vlogs, I initially was planning on free flying Ligaya, like literally outdoors, like none of this har harness stuff. Um, so she can enjoy like outdoor free flight. But after talking to some people and based on my own feelings and just based on, you know, gut instinct i've decided that i'm not gonna free fly her why because for one thing the large parrot most likely to be lost in a free flight is an african gray yes these birds are so smart that they will identify yeah wow freedom i'm leaving i can survive um so they're often lost uh the one who finally convinced me that it's probably not a good idea to free fly Ligaya um, was her vet, um, Dr. Nielsen Donaro, celebrity vet here in the Philippines, very popular veterinarian and certified avian vet. He asked me, he's like, are you sure you want to free fly Ligaya? And I was like, yeah. And he was like, well, I lost my african gray through free flying and i'm like oh and then also on top of that he said if you look at all of these like societies where they free fly and they get together you'll notice that there aren't very many african gray free, free flying birds mostly macaws and cockatoos and conures because those are the i guess the most reliable birds to free fly outdoors so after considering that and based on a lot of your comments as well uh, I've decided not to free fly her. Yeah, she'll be free flighted. I'm not gonna clip her wings. She'll fly indoors and eventually when we move to a new place, she'll have lots of room to fly indoors mm -hmm. in a controlled space where she's allowed. So there, that's the reason why. Not to say that it's impossible to free fly um, African greys because my good friend from uh, Free Flight International free flies his African Grey, it's possible. But I'm just, I'm scared, guys. I don't wanna, I don't wanna free fly Ligaya. I don't wanna lose her. Mm -hmm. Yeah, soak up that sun, guys. soak up that sun. Mm -hmm. I love this tropical weather, I love it so much. I'm not so self-conscious anymore. <laughs> I just envision myself as a mighty knight. I should have wore my, <laughs> My arm protectors too. Could role play. You okay, Ligaya? Yeah? Hello. All right. Almost home. Oh, what beautiful sun. Love it. OMG, OMG, I'm freaking out. Oh my God, my boy squad. I am freaking out right now. Wow, oh my god, I'm getting, I'm getting goosebumps. Yes, Ligaya, freaking out. Wow, okay, Mabuhay squad, get this. The reason I am freaking out is because 